We are on another Saturday walk. Park there. I mean, come here and you can park anywhere along here. <clears throat> There's Gretzky Drive and uh, Capilano Bridge is over there. And there's a ravine, Fulton Ravine, I think it is. <coughs> Pretty sure. Yeah, it must be Fulton because that's Fulton. It says on, uh, on the sign there. I was hoping this would be full of fog. Well, it might have been earlier this morning, but a lot of times you go over the bridge here and you see the river valley here, which is over there. And this area is full of fog. Thanks for some nice pictures. There's a path and some stairs over there. I think I might hear a squirrel. Okay, we'll check out that way first, and maybe that way on the way back. Okay, it's good for a dog walk, but um, it's not an off-leash area. But when we get near people, I just uh, put him on a leash or grab his collar. Not much of a creek, but... There he is. I'm gonna get a picture over here for maybe a calendar background. You hear that squirrel? You hear that squirrel? There's a squirrel up there. I'm pretty sure these stairs just go up to houses. And people. And development. And that's what we try to avoid on these walks. So he wants to go down this path, so follow him. Unfortunately, we're reminded that there's people around. You can hear the traffic. Capilano Drive. Look on the internet for wood spirits. So people will get thick bark like this and carve faces into them. Sounds like another squirrel saw him. Yeah, this is where we are right now. We parked up here somewhere. And we're walking away from Wayne Gritsky Drive. We'll go down a ways, see where it goes. Yeah, I don't know what kind of tree this is, but if you're making wood spirits, that's probably the type of bark that they use. Where are we going to go? I guess the path goes down there along the creek. There, if you're into wood carving, I mean, yeah, wood carving, uh, wood spirits. That's the type of bark you should be looking for. Maybe I'll try it someday. Let's go. Need a Dremel, pretty much. Ooh. 
Yeah, there's not much of a path. Ground is still frozen. You could walk on the ice if it was thicker. I think we'll go up there. I can't find any more path. He's probably wondering where I'm leading him. Come on. Up here. No. Yeah. Come on. Up. And we'll go up there and find the path again. Okay, we made it up the hill through the bushes. Stop. Okay, it's not much for trails so far that I've found, but a little bit of forest to wade through if you want to do that. This way. Path down there. Could. Okay, there's a constructed little bridge there made out of rocks. And the path going up. Come on. <clears throat> Now, careful with your feet on here. See right here? Don't get your feet caught in there. Careful. Careful, careful, careful. <clears throat> Guess we'll take the path up there. Or well, maybe I'll just follow him. No, we'll go up here. Now it's a runoff outlet. That's why all the wire and landscaping here. What you see? Oh, he's looking at a woodpecker up there. It's a big woodpecker. You can see his red head. I had a better telephoto lens on this thing. Where is he? Okay, houses. Well, let's go back. Hey, what you doing? No, this is not him. I've seen this poster around for quite a while. Okay, there's not much for trails there. So we'll take this way back. Let's go take this trail down. Again, we are parked over there, I believe. The stairs are over there somewhere. Either that way or this way. Okay, here's the stairs. So this trail we're just on, we're on goes up to an alley. And that trail goes up to houses. And we're going this way. Okay, he doesn't want to take that little trail. He wants to hop on the stairs. Okay, that's the trail we took. I guess we'll take that trail and see where it goes. Or uh, wait, we did go down that little trail and didn't get anywhere. Okay, we'll go back this way. 
And that was the trail we were going to take. Let's go down here see where it goes a little ways. And that pine tree, perfect for climbing. I wonder what kind it is, scotch pine maybe? Anyways, this trail goes up to the road, I believe. We'll find out. Yeah, it just goes up to the road. Okay, we're gonna go, go explore that little trail over there and then we'll call it a day. This way. Yeah, that goes to the stairs. Let's see where this path goes. This goes around to the concrete trails over there. Concrete bike trails. No, wait. Those trails, those concrete trails are way down there. This goes up to houses. Yeah, it just goes to houses and someone's yard. Okay, let's go back. Poor doggy, where is daddy taking me? Go. Yeah, he'll sleep good today. Yeah, where does this end? to the river. It's Fulton Creek. It's got to drain into the river eventually. There's concrete uh, inlet you can see kind of. Where is it? Find it on this screen here. There is an inlet. It must drain into the sewer system going that way somewhere because, uh, because the river is over there. Yeah, it must run from here. I don't know where this tunnel goes. It connects to the sewer and goes way to the river. Anyways, this is one of our less interesting exploration walks on a Saturday. You hear that squirrel? Good place to go tobogganing in the winter. We've come here before. Yeah, it's a good dog walk area. Come here. I wonder how often they cut the grass here. And along the road up there is where we parked. So that's Fulton. Fulton Creek. Pretty much the end of Fulton Creek dog walk. I mean the end leg of it, I believe. Because just like Mill Creek and the other creeks, uh, they go under the roads, under main thoroughfares and stuff like that, through tunnels, and uh, so there's different legs of it. Mill Creek, we've done between 50 and 34th Streets, and 34th and, no, 75th and 50th, and 34th and 50th or whatever, but... Anyways, I think this is the end leg of Fulton Creek. Wanna go home?